हे गाइस दिस इज सतीश कुमार एंड यू आर वाचिंग लर्न विद मी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक दिस 3D गियर पंप केस यूजिंग दिस डायग्राम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइस एज यू नो आवर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू सिलेक्ट द राइट वर्क प्लेस फॉर दैट गो टू दिस सेटिंग्स आइकॉन and make sure that you are in the 3d modeling option and also turn on the ortho mode and now we can start drawing so our first step is to make a rectangle simply make a rectangle of 25 comma 15 units and now let's make a line from this corner point of height 3 units and just insert this line to this direction of 3 units long Now press escape. Now let's make a circle from this end point of diameter value as 3 units. Now use the mirror command. Select this circle, press enter. Click on the center point and this one and press enter again. Now again use the mirror command. Select these two circles and press enter. Click on this middle point and this one and press enter. Now the next step is to make the inner profile for that let's make a line from this middle point to this center point and just make a line of 4 units long now press escape now let's make a circle from this center point of radius 4 units now use the mirror tool select this circle press enter click on this middle point and this one and press enter now let's join these two circles click on this quadrant point and this one now press escape similarly use the line command again and click on this quadrant point and this one and press escape now use the trim tool trim double enter and trim all these extra portions and delete this extra line also now delete this one also so next step is to make another circle from this midpoint of diameter value as 5 and again make a circle from this point of diameter of radius 1.5 and now use the trim tool trim double enter and trim this extra portion and this one also and also make a circle from this center point of diameter value as 4 now use the join command select all these extra lines and make a profile select all of them and press enter now finally delete these two extra lines select them carefully and delete them now use the fillet command fillet and enter p as polyline and enter r for the radius and enter 1 as the radius value and click on this rectangle and the fillet is completed now let's change the view to isometric for that go to this home icon and now use the extrude command click on this rectangular piece and just extrude it to an height of 6 units now again type extrude select all the circles and just extrude it to an approximate height make sure that the circles are beyond the rectangle and now use the move command select this this and press enter and just move it to an height of 6 units also move this circle to an height of 6 units now finally use the extrude command again select this circle press enter and just extrude it to an height of 3 units and now again use the extrude command select this profile press enter 
and just extrude it to a height of 3 units. Again use this portion, select the circle and just extrude it to a height of 4.5 units. Now use the subtract command to subtract all the portion, type subtract command, select this rectangle, press enter and select all the remaining portions select all of them and press enter now all the objects are subtracted let us make sure by changing the view go to this view panel and click on the shade it with edges option or shade it with gray now the object is com almost completed so let's make the remaining profile change the view to 2d wireframe again and let's make a line from this midpoint and just join a line like this now change the view to front and make a UCS to front also and now click on this home icon if you are using an older version you can type UCS and type V to change the UCS to view option I am using the latest 2020 version so go to this coordinate panel and you can select the change to the view option so when you change the, to the view option you can make a circle on this plane make a circle of diameter value as 5 and now again make a circle from this center point of diameter value as 3 units and now use the move command select the circle press enter and just move it to a height of 1.5 units now use the extrude command select the circle extrude it to a height of 1.5 similarly extrude this circle to an height of 1.5 and finally we have to make a cone for that you can type cone command or go to this modeling panel and select cone from this option and from that click on this center point if you are not able to select the center point just right click and select the center point option and just trace the circle when you see the center point as a green circle just click on any point like this and you will align to the center point now enter the diameter value as 3 and just extend it to a height of 1 units now the final step is to subtract this portion subtract command select this rectangle press enter and select these two extra portion and press enter now let us make sure by changing the view to shade it with edges option now delete this extra portion you can see also in shade it with gray and that's all for today i hope you learned something from this video we just completed the gear pump in autocad and i just want to say that the drawing files related to this diagram are in the description so please make sure to check that also and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and also watch these videos which are very interesting and that's all for today thank you and have a nice day